Hello everyone, uh, this is my presentation for Cold Space Autonomous Driving. Uh, my team ID is SG223008 and my team name is PHAD8. Uh, my name is Carlo, uh, it's just myself in the team and this is my second year in Cold Space Autonomous Driving. And I started robotics at the age of nine. Uh, I participate in autonomous driving. Uh, it is a car that is going from point A to point B with some checkpoints in between. Uh, I use I mainly use proportional line tracking and gyro turning. Uh, I'm pretty happy with my results because I got the best time in my CCA. Uh, I, uh, so we should not give up because uh, I got that best time at, at 11.53 p.m. How to do line tracking? Uh, I think that line tracking is the most important because it is what the robot is doing for 95% of the time. So you should optimize, you should prioritize and optimize the line tracking to the max. Uh, I use proportional line tracking to do my line tracking because in my opinion, proportional line tracking is the best line tracking. For proportional line tracking, I would attach a value to every IR sensor in increasing order. When the IR sensor senses that the color that I wanted it to, uh, it will find out what it what is the average value of and use and use a formula to find out what is the best speed for both wheels. Uh, so this is my line tracking code. So it starts off with uh, position and count set to zero, speed set to any number that one. Uh, so uh, it's basically a repeat for all the IR sensors, but it's different for each. Well, the difference is only the position number. So position is negative five for R3, L3. L2 is negative three. L1 is negative one. R1 is one. R2 is three and R3 is five. So if count is more than zero, which if any of the sensors senses the color that I want, is basically position equals to position divided by count. So if position is more than zero, means the robot thinks that the, the line is on the right side, uh, means that uh, will left equals to speed and will right equals to speed minus this formula over here, which I don't understand. Only the only number I understand is this, which is the gain. Which uh, the gain, the higher the gain, the more wobbly it is, but the tighter the turn it can it can do. The less gain, the le the smoother it is, but it can't do very sharp turns. Else, uh, wheel left is the same thing as here, but on wheel left, and wheel right equals to speed. An example is this. So, uh, since all I want to sense as a black line, so the robot thinks the black line is here. So this is negative, negative five, negative three, negative one, one, three, and five. So count is more than zero because uh, this two has senses sense black, which means makes count two. So position equals position divide, uh, divide by count. So this is one and this is three. So this is one plus three divided by two, which gives give a number two. So position is more than zero. So wheel left equals to speed, which means wheel, wheel left speed equals to 85. Wheel right speed equals to minus, minus, minus 0.3 times speed times force divided by five. So as you can see, 85 minus 0.3 times 85 times two divided by five equals 74.8, which is around the same number as here. So it basically works as an example. So this is uh, one of the programs, uh, the prelim program that I, that I recorded. So it goes straight, it hits a very nice turn and then it wobbles a bit because this is very hard to do. And it takes the, this shortcut, takes really smooth down here, comes turn around here, turns, goes to the roundabout on the left. And I reduce the speed for here because the recording makes it super laggy. So it comes around here, takes the last station, and comes around to the final D station. 
and so then applying knowledge to the real world. Uh, as a, an example is a driverless vehicle in the real world. It's a robot at Tampani's library where, the, where there's a robot that can take a lot of books and return it, return them to the library. Uh, the lines on the ground can be represented as the lines in the virtual course space autonomous driving. And the charging point can be represented at the orange station in the virtual in autonomous in the virtual space in cold space autonomous driving. Uh, I can use the knowledge of autonomous driving to help smooth out the turnings of the robot. So this is one of the photos of the robot, not the clearest. And thank you for listening, and I hope you enjoy.